from the eternal flame at Arlington National Cemetery to Dealey Plaza in Dallas, where JFK was fatally wounded with a gunshot. Today, the nation remembers a president, a visionary, and an icon. Hello and thanks for joining us on this, the 50th anniversary of Kennedy's assassination, a day that many say represents the loss of America's innocence. For those who were alive on that day, they all remember where they were when they heard the shocking news. Many from CBS's Walter Cronkite. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. Stay with Newsmax TV and Newsmax.com for special coverage of today's events, including our documentary on Kennedy's assassination and the mystery that still surrounds it, even now, 50 years on. Now here's the news. Kennedy cousin Michael Skakel is a free man today, at least for now. He was released on a $1.2 million bond pending a new trial for the 1975 murder of his teenage neighbor, Martha Moxley. Last month, a judge ruled that Skakel's attorney failed to adequately represent him during his trial in 2002. He has already served 11 years of a 20-year sentence. And Washington lawmakers are still trying to figure out what massive rule changes approved by the Senate this week will mean for the future of the legislative process. That change passed by Democrats in the U.S. Senate strips Republicans of their ability to block the president's nominees for executive and judicial appointments. Democrats claimed it was the only way to combat Republican obstructionism. The Senate's Democratic leader, Harry Reid, said the final straw came when Republicans recently blocked three Obama nominees to the U.S. Circuit Court in Washington, D.C. The change lowers the hurdle for confirming appointees from 60 votes down to a simple majority of 51 votes. The move angered Republicans who say this was merely a diversion tactic meant to draw attention away from the problems surrounding Obamacare. So yeah, I'd probably be running for the exit too if I'd supported this law. I'd be looking to change the subject. Many say the rule change could come back to haunt Democrats whenever Republicans retake control of the White House and the Senate. And in London, an unprecedented case of human trafficking, police rescued three women ages 30, 57, and 69 from a quite unsuspecting neighborhood. Investigators say they had been held against their will for 30 years. That means the youngest victim may have been enslaved all of her life. One detective said the woman had been severely traumatized while in captivity. That investigation continues. Coming up next on your Newsmax Now update, see the strange way Russian officials are promoting exercise in the Winter Olympics, plus an inspirational and lasting speech to honor President John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Welcome back. In Russia, a subway ride normally costs about 90 cents, but now people can get on the train for less money but more physical effort. To promote the 2014 Winter Games and exercise, one subway station is allowing people to do 30 squats to get a free ticket. Today, we want to leave you with one of President Kennedy's most famous speeches, inspirational and perhaps my favorite. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills.